Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Bennett. From concept to the commissioning, and now the first command change, KCAU 9 continues to bring you coverage from the USS Sioux City. It's our top story tonight at 5. KCAU 9 anchor Tim Seaman is live in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida, where the USS Sioux City is docked. Tim, how are things going today? Hey, Bridget, hello again from Naval Station Mayport. We're just about 20 miles or so from Jacksonville, Florida, here on the base where another uh, traditional and ceremonial and exciting day is uh, slowly winding to a close. Tonight, we're actually aboard the bow of the USS Sioux City. The 57 millimeter cannon is right behind me. I'm going to step out of the shop for just a minute and take a look at the front of the ship here tonight, that big cannon that's part of the uh, attack the uh, artillery system that's aboard this vessel. The LCS, the littoral combat ship, the Sioux City, one of five of those ships based here at Naval Station Mayport. And uh, what an awesome scene around the bay today. And tonight we'll continue to show you those pictures. You know, since the time that uh, Sioux City learned that this ship would be named after our community, there's been a push to connect the community with the ship and the sailors. Another great example of that as uh, Lamar's base Blue Bunny making sure the men and women of this ship are taken care of when it comes to sweet treats. Take a look at this. Uh, the Blue Bunny bunker unlocked with the key early today. Leslie Bartholomew and Commander Randy Malone pulling back the uh, curtain on the goodies. Members from both crews, the uh, blue and the gold here on the Sioux City waiting for that taste treat. But first bite today and uh, deservedly so was reserved for Commander Malone who was finishing his time on the Sioux City and moving on to California to serve as a naval inspector. Blue Bunny first mentioned the bunker more than a year ago, but it wasn't until today that the frozen goodness got passed around. The bunker will stay on the Sioux City, filled with Blue Bunny products through the life of this ship, but only for those on the ship. And for members of the Sioux City Blue Crew, the timing couldn't have been worse. Today, they turned command of this ship over to the Gold Crew. It's really exciting. I mean, the only thing bad about this is we're turning over the ship. And so the other crew gets to take advantage of the ice cream on board. But we had it for the past couple days, you know, and it's been sitting here and we're ready to break it, break it open and actually eat some ice cream. Pretty sure we're the only ones in the basin to have it. So it is nice to be able to, you know, rub that in the face of some of the other ships. You know, we made sure to let them know that we're going to have most of the time with the freezer. So full of all the goodies. And as you just heard, today marks a new chapter for the Sioux City Command of this ship. The Blue Crew, which has been on board since the beginning of this uh, ship, going through christening and the uh, process all the way till today, now stepping off and the transition of the command, the Gold Crew taking command of the ship. And coming up at 6, a closer look at the tradition of this ceremony, as well as we'll hear from the outgoing and incoming commanders of the USS Sioux City. That's coming up tonight at 6. Here on uh, base at Naval Station uh, Mayport, things are winding down for the weekend, but activity remains here on the USS Sioux City. This base is, I've got to tell you, Bridget, it's its its own little city, really. 3,400 acres, better than 30 ships here in the uh, the port. Coming up at 6, we'll be at a different location. We'll really get a chance to see that and uh, see this uh, ship from a different angle. Also, uh, a helicopter squadron that's based here. Uh, it, it really, truly is an impressive uh, feature on the eastern side of the U.S., one of the most important parts of the U.S. Navy up and down the eastern seaboard. It's been a great day so far. We'll continue to tell the story. Make sure you're with us again. Coming up tonight, I'll be six, uh, live again tonight at 6 here from the port at Naval Station Mayport. For now, though, with photographer Kenneth Kroll, Tim Seaman, KCAU 9 News. A very impressive sight, and I'm so glad that those crew members get to enjoy that local ice cream. I love it.